Hey guys, it's Simply Imaginary People, Frankie, and this is just a short tutorial on how to export UV maps from Blender. So open Blender and make sure you have this UV window. So you can do that by pulling out these three dots and then changing this down here to UV image editor. And now you're just going to import the object you want. You're going to import the adult face. Click it, go to edit mode, and you'll see the UV map here. And then in this UV window, I'm going to press A to make sure it's all orange. I'm just going to say UV, export UV layout. And I'll just change this to UV. And then show you. So if I open this, you'll see I have a nice um, transparent UV layout. What's cool about this is, say I want to I made a mesh or I have a mesh. Trying to find a folder with meshes in it. Say this. And this one has a good UV layout, but say you have a mesh that has a very confusing UV layout that's just everywhere and you want to only have certain parts of it recoverable on one channel, then what you can do is you can go onto sync here and using L, I usually go onto edges because it's easier, select the parts you want to have a specific recoverable channel. So I want this to have the recoverable channel A. Okay, I'm going to use a different mesh because this one's not working. No, this one's not helpful either. So let's say I want the ladder to have a specific recoverable channel, so I'm going to use L or whatever to select all ladder parts. Might take a while. Well, here I can see all the ladder parts. Imagine you have a UV map that you did quick and dirty and the parts are everywhere. So just make sure you've only got the parts. You can see there's some parts here that are also... Ah yes, this is the good way. Let's do the side parts. Select. Make sure you select all the parts that belong to it. Right. Once you've done that, you can see that they're the rest of it. not quite all in the same place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say you export UV layout. I'm going to show you that one. And now I'm going to file open the UV layout. Now, the cool thing is if I click using the magic wand, on the inside and then I go to select inverse and I go to new layer and I pick one of the recoverable channels then now I can just fill that area and I've got exactly that part of the mesh recoverable without having to try and figure out where it is so UV layouts are pretty useful yeah, and so I could select the next area and then overlay those two images and then I could make my recoverable channels even with a relatively mixed up UV map. 